illusion. Greetings, Geralt. If I'm to die today, I wish to look smashing for me again. Leave my dresser alone! Get everybody together. Time to talk. Thank you for coming. The Wild Hunt will be here soon. They're coming for Ciri. Wanna take her? We'll stop them. How do you even know the hunt will show? They always know where I teleport to. And they move from place to place in an instant. So what's our plan? There aren't many of us, but I'd trust any of you with my life. Work together and we'll defeat the hunt. When they attack, Yen will dome the fortress with a magic shield. Hunt will be forced to land outside the walls. If they're dispersed out in the woods, we could hunt down small groups of riders. Got our first volunteer for the hunting party. I'm the second. The hunt will try to penetrate into the fortress through navigator portals. I can do nothing against this kind of magic, so you'll need to find and close as many as you can while hunting in the woods. Lambert will make us die meridian bombs. Remember the formula? Of course. Excellent. Erden should work on the portals as well. I shall also give you each an amulet. Snap them in half and you'll become invisible, at least while you remain still or move slowly. Move abruptly, engage any foes, clash with them, and they will see you. Apart from that, they will be able to hear you and smell you. If you come across a large unit, do not attack. Signal Triss and she will provide support. I'll look for your signal. Soon as I see it, I'll rain fire on the forest. Ciri's most important in all of this. The hunt's after her, and we have to defend her at all costs. What do I do? Stay inside the keep. If they break through, come inside. We'll all converge to help you. Out of the question. I can look after myself. No one doubts that, child. But remember the most important moment when hunting a monster? Wait for an opportunity. After the council, I'll give you an amulet. If you use it, a ball of fire will land where you're standing, just in case. Remember, there's only a few of us. We have to help each other, work together. If anything goes wrong and the hunt puts us on the defensive, we pull back, make a stand at the gates of the fortress. The inner courtyard is our last line of defense. If we don't stop them there, we're doomed. What else do we have that we can use? Since you plan to ambush the hunt in the woods, I could dig some trapping pits, blue stripe style. Meaning? Deep as the dark abyss, bottoms bristling with sharpened stakes. I brought this Mahakaman mix. Flammable as bone dry saltpeter and plowing sticks to everything. We fill some barrels, stack them in a narrow passage, and fire them up at an opportune moment. You know we stand on a vast deposit of gas. If need be, I could open cracks in the earth, create explosions. I would need to prepare, though. There's the laboratory and the workshop. One thing to remember, we've got limited resources and even less time. We ought to decide what kind of weaponry will be most useful against the hunt. Absolutely. We need to assign one type of weaponry each to the lab and workshop. Who needs access to the lab? I started brewing some potions. Like to finish, if you don't mind. I could prepare more of those witcher's traps, but I'd need all the lab equipment. There aren't many of us, so we'll need to prepare as many traps as possible. Let's talk about the workshop. Then wanting to fix that breach in the wall. But we'll need the same tools to clear the rubble from the armory. Rubble? 
Haven't you heard? Roof caved in a couple of years back. There's some excellent swords in there. Swords we could use. Filling in the breach seems just as important. They come through there, the siege will be over awfully quick. Fixing the breach in the wall's a priority. We won't have time to do much else. Everything settled? Yes, settled. We don't have much time, so let's get to work. Let's sum up. Yennefer will create a magic barrier to repel the main assault. That should push the opposing force into the woods. Where Lambert and Geralt will be waiting. They'll use Dimeridium to close the Navigator's portals, stop as many warriors as possible from entering the fortress. Triss will be waiting for their signal, then give the riders hell. All others will repel any foes who make it inside the fortress walls. If anything goes wrong, we abandon the outer courtyard, pull back to the keep. Remember, Aridin can't get his hands on Ciri. That's most important. Let's look at the map of the fortress, figure out the details. Can't help feeling we've overlooked something important. Don't think about it. Wanted to talk about what we can expect. Thanks, not interested. You should talk to Siri, find mood she's in. I'm exposing you all to danger, unnecessarily. You worry too much. Wipe that frown off your face, we'll make it. Thanks. For everything. I'll saddle the horses. Come once you're ready to head into the woods. Take you. You know that. I know. You gotta keep clear. Stay out of trouble. Don't treat me like a child. Didn't even do that when you were one. I like it when you smile. Come here. Everything will be alright.
Gonna have to thank Yen once this is all over. That spell... really something. And the invisibility. Hounds could sniff you out, so don't get too close. And you'll be visible as soon as you start fighting. Remember that. Good work with these bombs, by the way. Aim at the portals. Be precise. I'm out of Dimeridium. Yen mentioned casting the Urden at the rifts. Said the sign could seal them. They're here. Time to say hello. Slow down. Element of surprise is key. Stay hidden. Give Triss a chance to show them what she can do. Then we'll hit him. Next time you get the feeling I'm about to piss off Marigold, make sure and knock me upside the head. Roach's pits. Couldn't have asked for anything more perfect. Are you kidding? You're lucky you didn't fall in. Relax. Roach is good at this kind of warfare. Covers won't collapse into our weight. Hunch Rider in full plate. That's another story. Not that I don't trust this invisibility. We should keep our distance from those creatures. I hate portals. Good. Keep coming.
Geralt, come here! Look, they're regrouping. See the commander? Name's Imlarith. I remember him from back when I rode with the hunt. Damn it. Spells waning. We're becoming visible. What's with Marigold? Shit. You were meant to wait inside! I refuse to sit idle while you risk your lives for me. Back inside! No! Geralt gave the signal from the woods and Triss hasn't cast the spell. Damn it! All right, run to her. Detachment approaching from the woods. We need to close the gate before they get inside. Come 
damn it! Shut the gate! to get in through the main gate. I'm afraid they could succeed next time. What's with Esco? We have to retreat. He's in trouble. I'm going to help him. Remember the stone I gave you.
should have stayed in the keep. Set your ass down like you were supposed to. <laughs> Who would have saved yours then? Retreat beyond it! Fall back! You're not supposed to be out here. Too late now. They're coming in through the gaps! Time Meridian bombs. You'll find more in the crates by the walls.
not abandon you. You humans are so impractical. Siri, no! Child, I adored that about you. Now fly! No! I... I was too late to help him. 
It's not your fault. I should not have fled here to Camorin. Avalark is weak, but alive. Triss is tending to the others. I nearly killed you. Killed everyone. We'd all be dead if not for you. No, Geralt. The hunt would never have come to Kaer Morhen if I wasn't here. Bezimir's funeral. We should prepare. Yourself. No witcher's ever died in his own bed. You don't know how it is to see someone you love die because of you, for you. We all knew what we were signing up for. Yes, and you saved me. For how long? A week? A month? We'll hide you, cover your tracks. No. I will flee no more. Vafail. For those who remain, death should never take precedence over life. Pay your last respects to your friend. Then we must hold counsel. What's on your mind? Kaer Morin. Can't imagine this place without Vesemir. I'll head down the valley soon, and find somewhere else to winter next year. I 
can't get you. Try my luck in Lormark. There's always work where there's war. After that, we'll see. Till next time. See you, Wolf. Thank you. <laughs> Please. She was my ward, too. And the old should only ever stick around to help the young. You know, this hardly ends your struggle. I know. Whatever you aim to do now, remember you'll find souls willing to aid you in Skellige. Myself, Krak, his children. Thanks. I'll remember that. I shall take another look at the wounded. But I'll need to go soon. I'll leave you some medicines. Go in hell, Thermion. Till we meet again. So? Tell me. I can say I've seen it all now. I still don't believe everything that happened. Risked your lives for me. How can I repay you? We'll think of something. Right? Definitely. What will you do? We're bound for Novigrad. To fight the next fight. If you miss us, look for us at the camp. Thanks for everything you did for me and Ciri. May I be honest? Had I known what would happen here, I'd never have come anywhere near Kaer Morhen. I'm glad I could help, but I shall leave as soon as Lambert feels better. You going together? I've an idea, but I need a Witcher to help me see it through. Lambert has agreed to assist me. Hmm. <laughs> Good luck, and thanks again. We're even now. Can we talk? What about? Try not to get into any arguments, can you? They've all come here to help. Are you gonna tell me how to behave now? No. Just asking you nicely. Well, how's this for a nice answer? Kiss my ass. <sighs> Holding up all right? I love questions like that. Am I holding up? What? My dick? This is shit, Geralt, and you know it. I knew the old man couldn't live forever. Even told Eskel that when it came time, I'd get his sword. Fits my hand perfectly, you know? But... Vesemir deserved a better death. Whereas he died like a louse. Crushed. We'll avenge him. Doesn't look that rosy to me. See you later. Yeah, take care. There you are. Crying shame about Vesemir. I'm sorry. Thanks for your help. I had a debt to pay. Heading straight back to Skellige? Wouldn't be right to tarry. War with the Black Ones won't wait. You can count on me, you know. Always. I know. Thanks. Come to see how I'm feeling. Thanks. Not bad. That's good. Ah, son. Horrible about Vesemir. I know you were close. Thanks. We were. Listen, far be it from me to stick my beard, but it'll no scratch an itch. So don't take this the wrong way. I want to help, whatever you decide, but to my mind, we've got to counterattack. I've got to find the hunt, Eredin, and charge at them both like a bull at a heifer. Not that simple, unfortunately. We have no way of finding them. They find us easily, can take us by surprise whenever they want. Forgive me, Geralt, but that's the blathering of a man who clearly can't snap out of it after a tragic loss. Drink it off. Sleep it off, whatever it takes. 
Just get yourself together and think things through. I'll do that, Sultan. Zirel can harness immense amounts of the power. Why has no one taught her to control this? Actually, some did teach her. Clearly, to no effect. Haven't had a chance to talk. Thanks for your help. And for looking after Siri. You will thank me later. Now we must take Zirel from here, Haida. And then gather a greater force. Anyone, everyone we could count on came here to care Morhen. Which is why we must seek the help of enemies. Magic is our best defense against the hunt. We need sorceresses. Arch mistresses of magic. You mean the Lodge? Many of the Lodge's members are dead. The rest are in hiding. Philippa Eilhart, Margarita Loantil, and Frangilla Vigo are likely still alive. And Francesca? And Ida? Think they'd agree? I think they'll take convincing. Would you rather speak to Kira alone? That would probably be best. Don't trust the Lodge one bit. But doesn't seem like we have a choice. Because we don't. I've made an agreement with the Emperor. In exchange for its help, the Lodge will be granted amnesty and find asylum in Nilfgaard. That will be our bargaining chip. Triss, I wish to leave today to find the sorceresses. Will you help me? Of course. Even got an idea where you could start. Damn it! Again you planned without even asking what I think! I've had enough of this! I won't be taken somewhere like a... bundle. I will not sit and twiddle my thumbs. I am sick of waiting, sick of hiding. You're right. Prove today you can take care of yourself. Easier to pat someone on the back and hope things will work out than it is to face the truth. Jirel possesses a great power she cannot control. She is a danger to herself, to others. Until she learns to control it, she should remain isolated. First of all, Bollocks. Second, if you're going to speak of courage, at least address me directly, and not through Geralt. I'm gone. Siri needs time. True, but she also needs training. She must learn to control her abilities. This training really necessary? You saw what happened. She could be a greater threat than the hunt. Fine. We'll stay here a while longer, then join you and Triss in Novigrad. Meet at Dandelion's Inn. Come on, Yen. The sooner we leave, the better. See ya. Don't you see? Discouraged after a mere eight attempts? Sire. How many times must I try? As many as it takes. But I'm not getting anywhere. We shall return to this later. Didn't make it far first time out on the gauntlet, either. Oh, Geralt, please, not now. <sighs> By comparison, the gauntlet was a walk in the park. But that's not the point. What is? Avalarka says nothing will come of this until I stop thinking about the battle. But at the moment, I find it impossible to fill my head with kittens and vanilla pudding. Tell me, how do you do it? What? Always manage to pull yourself together. Focus. No matter what's happening. Hmm. Don't 
know about vanilla pudding. Could work, but nothing picks me up like Lambert's famous homebrew. Suppose it can't kill me. Might as well try. Strong. Maybe you want to try a different method. We've tried at least 20. Wouldn't let it worry you. Not like you need to excel at everything. You're great with a sword, an excellent archer. Leave the magic to mages. Yeah. Pull me another. Saddled the horses. Siri, it's the crack of dawn. Where do you want to go? To Velen, Bald Mountain. But a few days till the Witch's Sabbath. And guess who's the guest of honor? Don't know. Enlighten me. Imlarith. We'll have no better chance to get him. Where do you get this idea? What's gotten into you? I must avenge Vesemir. The Sabbath. It's the perfect opportunity. Imlarith will be drunk among his cohorts, caught up in the revelry. He'll not expect the blow. How do you learn all this? Imlarith? The Sabbath? Avilach. He told me of those who chase us. Flame's knowledge itself can tip the scales. Come, we shall talk on the way. Lead on. Ready? Let's go. The men at Crow's Perch, they spoke of this place. Ard Serbin, home of the Ladies of the Wood. The peasants feared coming here, and the Baron thought the Ladies of the Wood a terrifying tale for naughty children. Incidentally, I wonder how the Baron is. He found his wife, took her away somewhere far. Anna, she was unwell. A true shame. Let's get this done. We must reach the peak. We'll find Imlarith there. The peasant folk of Velen call them. Loads of footprints. A crowd of peasants came through here. Avalach claims vanity is Imlarith's greatest weakness. Vanity? Any foe he faces, he strives to impress. The other one, Caranthir, is said to be secretive and pragmatic. Hardly surprising, given he was Avalok's student. Carol? 
Geralt? Geralt? Should I shoot? The white one won't serve the ladies. Let them approach. But They've come for the feast. Wouldn't do to cast them out. Didn't come to celebrate. We need to get to the top of the mountain. The gate is shut. You'll not pass. But we've fires down that away, with food and drink and plenty. Sit down beside one, and perhaps this year the ladies will descend. Give us the privilege of seeing them. We thank you for the invitation. Be glad to sit down, right? Speak for yourself. Come with me. The gate said we wouldn't pass. Only the chosen visit the ladies. Every year, young lads and lasses climb the mount, but never more than three. Let me guess the young lads and lasses don't return. No, they return happy and radiant. But rare is the one who then stays in Valen. Off they go to seek fortune in the wider world. Ladies of the wood visit you? If they favor us. My father told me they descended once. Passed from fire to fire, listening to hopes and grievances. So each year, we wait for them to walk amongst us once more. Haven't done it in a long time, then. No point waiting to see if we'll get lucky. Yeah, we gotta try to reach the peak. This celebration, what's it about? What do you need to know, Wanderer? No need for anger. The White Ones serve the ladies as we do now. We send them gifts all year long. And on this night, they repay us with their blessing. I met one of your gifts to the crones. Snivelling, scared to death and about eight years old. Stay calm. Your children. Why do the ladies need them? We know not, never ask. You don't know? Then let me tell you. Tell us instead what a peasant, his own young and starving, is to do with a wandering war orphan. You're not from here. Don't judge us by others' laws. Said the ladies bestow blessings on you. Aye, for our lives turn thus. First a summer of labor neath the hot sun, then autumn rains, then a winter of death. Then we await spring, when all that is dead is born anew. And from our blood and sweat, the oak bears acorns, at times few, at times a handful. What do you do with the acorns? The Velen elders gather, hold council, some favor grinding them to spread on the fields for a rich harvest. Others want them given to a cunning woman who'd make medicine for consumption. A handful of enchanted acorns is enough for all Velen. Tis never enough. Heard enough about this. We've got other questions. We should be going. Eager to see the ladies, I share your yearning. We're afire with yearning. Come, Geralt, we must get there before daybreak. Go to the tent and stand before Thecla. She's the one who decides who's worthy to face the ladies. Merciful ladies, the grandson, give him out. He works his shit. Look, a child. 
No, a godling. I know him. Name's Johnny. Well, old B, you're back. Uh, and I see you found your lass. I'm Johnny. We've had the pleasure already. A bit one-sided, though, it was. See, I saw you running. You're back to me, as I was <laughs> having the pleasure of... Oh, tis a long story. They call me Siri. Nice to meet you. How are things, Johnny? Health's good, so no complaints. What brings you here? What are you doing here? Last we met, you and the crones weren't exactly friends. I got an invitation I couldn't refuse, same as every year. In their peculiar way, the crones tolerate my presence and wish to see me at their Sabbath. So I come, wander about, and go home with the rising sun. What about you? We gotta climb the mountain. Can you help? I'd rather try to dissuade you, but I'm certain that would be in vain. The lass. She is stubborn as you. Even more so. Figured as much. Oh. Path to the peak starts there. Past the gate. But only old Thekla's got the key. So since you shan't ever get it, you best turn back now. The key. Why do you doubt we can get it? Good grief. You're worse than children. Three souls are allowed atop the mountain. And only strapping young lads or comely lasses among them. They get the key, open the gate, and meet the ladies. I believe I qualify. But he's old and ugly. What good is he? Pretty damn good at finding lost voices. Then go find the voice of reason. It'll tell you to turn back. There's no fooling with the ladies. We're here to find an elf named Imlarith. Siri thinks he might be a guest of the crones. Big bloke. In full plate? Going the right way. He's atop the mountain, all right. You've seen him? Saw him in the bog first. Water froze beneath his horse's hooves. Then I saw him again yesterday, heading up this path. Why are you looking for him? He killed my friend. Wouldn't seek revenge if I were you. Even the ladies bow and scrape before that one. Gotta get to the summit. Simple as that. It's Thecla you'll need to convince. She's blind as your bum, but she won't be fooled. We shan't try to trick her. She sits in that tent over yonder. I wish you luck, and do hope we meet again, someday. Moons are rising, owls hoot. Fire's just a thing. Hours late. <laughs> it's clearing up. Mm, who's that? Well, come on, come closer, girl. Aye. What's she like? Narrow hips, sparkly eyes, a striking feisty lass. Never had a man. Oh, never mind. Got me answer. I choose you, girl. This night you shall see the ladies. If she goes up the mountain, I go with her. <laughs> what else has the cat dragged in? It's grey and veiny, got a scar, and eyes like a viper. Aye. Stinks of clotted blood and corpses. Plus it's old and infertile. I reject ye, freak. The girl will ascend alone. What's this about? What have you chosen her for? Tell him. Each year, three chosen have the honor to meet the ladies. What happens after they've had this honor? When they return, they speak of the past no more. Joy rules them, and they start life anew. The last were not the first to be chosen this day, but the moon hangs eyes, so she's like to be the last. 
I'm going with her. <laughs> He's fire in his gut. What do you see? He's determined. He loves the girl, but he seeks to hide it from us. Perhaps I was mistaken. Perhaps there's life in him yet. By ancient right you may appeal my choice, but to do so you must best the challenge. I accept the challenge. <laughs> Come. Look this over. A coin from days of yore. Falker burns on its reverse, so they call it the Defiers Orb. Now, bring me the coin. Beginning to worry. Come, let's get the key. Something's. They're back. What do you want? Got that coin you tossed in the lake. It reeks of sludge. Nothing I can do about that. So, gonna keep your word? I always do, my boy. Show the coin to the gatekeeper past the threshold. He'll know its meaning. Marika will open the gate for you. Now go! That went smoothly. Weren't the one to do the diving in that cave. Stop one. You're a witcher. You've dived in murkier waters. Yeah, I have to tell you about the time I hunted a zoo. The rest of the chosen will now ascend the mount to the peak.
What's your name, girl? What's yours? <clears throat> your name don't matter. Atop the peak, you'll lose it and get another. You may go. And you? Got something to do up there, so just let us through. Ha ha ha! Given me orders? You? A human? I passed the trial. Here's proof. Recognize it? The Defiers Orum. A death sentence. No time to lose. I'll tend to Imlirith, you take the crones. Avalarch said they dwell below the oak, among its roots. No chance. I'm going after Imlirith. <sighs> Fine, let's play for it. Rock, paper, scissors. Damn it! Two out of three! Himmler is a bigger threat than the Crones. I should face him. I'm no worse a fighter than you. We both know that's not true. Listen to me this once. But... No buts. Fine. Be careful. You too. Let's get down there. Oh, hell. I guess I must jump. Welcome, 
child of the Elder Blood. We knew you would return. Your taste lingers on our tongues. You've talked enough. 